DLF Limited, Delhi Land and Finance is the largest commercial real estate developer in India. It was founded by Chowdhury Raghvendra Singh in 1946 and is based in New Delhi, India. DLF develops residential colonies in Delhi such as Shivaji Park, their first development, Rajori Garden, Krishna Nagar, South Extension, Greater Kailash, Kailash Colony, and House Khas. DLF builds residential, office, and retail properties. With the passage of Delhi Development Act in 1957, the local government assumed control of real estate development in Delhi and banned private real estate developers. As a result, DLF began acquiring land at relatively low cost outside the area controlled by the Delhi Development Authority, in the district of Gagaon, in the adjacent state of Haryana. In the mid-1970s, the company started developing the DLF city project at Gagaon. Its plans include hotels, infrastructure and special economic zones related development projects. The company is headed by Kushal Pal Singh. Kushal Pal Singh, according to the Forbes listing of richest billionaires in 2009, was the 98th richest man in the world and the world's richest property developer. The company's $2 billion IPO in July, 2007 was India's biggest IPO in history. In its first quarter results for the period ending 30 June 2007, the company reported a turnover of 31.2098 billion rupees $430 million and profits after taxes of 15.1548 billion rupees $210 million. As of March 31, 2012, the company had a 1,380 square feet of leased retail space across the country. In 2013 14, it leased out 3 million square feet of office space in India. In August 2011, a penalty of 6.3 billion rupees $88 million was imposed on DLF by the Competition Commission of India CCI after finding DLF guilty of breaching laws regarding the unfair pricing of goods and services. The complaint was lodged against DLF by buyers in its residential projects Bel Air and Park Place, located in Gagaon. DLF has paid part of the penalty, and the matter is currently in the Supreme Court of India. In February 2015, the CCI ordered its investigative arm to probe two more projects of DLF in Gagaon, namely, DLF Regal Gardens and DLF Skycourt. Income DLF has about 25 million square feet of leased office space spread across Gagaon, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Chandigarh and Chennai, which generates a rental of about 1,950 crore rupees every year and supports 45,000 crore rupees of the company's debt. DLF has leased office space to Samsung and about 1 lakh square FT office space to some other companies, including executive center and corporatage office facilities. History DLF's first residential project was Krishnanagar in East Delhi, which was completed in 1949. Subsequently, the company developed 21 colonies in Delhi, including some in the South Extension, Greater Kailash, Kailash Colony and House Khas. The passage of Delhi Development Act in 1957 was the first serious challenge to company's growth. The act meant that the government would assume control of all real estate development activities in the city. As a result, DLF decided to move beyond Delhi and focused on the suburb of Gagaon in Haryana, which had the potential for development of residential and commercial properties. As DLF started to acquire land under the leadership of Chairman K.P. Singh, Gagaon embarked on a period of rapid growth. The land purchase program adopted a humane approach so that the sellers do not feel shortchanged. To this effect, DLF partnered with farmers so that they also got a share in profits. DLF acquired and created a land bank and then sold plots to buyers after demarcation. The profits from the sales were subsequently shared with farmers, which encouraged more farmers to come forward and partner with DLF. A 58 crore deal was cancelled between DLF and Robert Vadra by IAS officer Ashik Kemka. Topic. Sponsorship In 2008, DLF became the title sponsor of the Indian Premier League, a newly formed 2020 cricket league. DLF paid close to 2 billion rupees $28 million for the five-year sponsorship deal. The deal ended in the 2012 version of the season, wherein it was taken over by PepsiCo Inc. It is now sponsored by Vivo and called Vivo IPL. 
DLF is also sponsoring the 2018 to 2022 I League. Topic: Beyond Buildings. Topic: DLF Huda Expressway. Haryana Urban Development Authority and DLF, in a 50-50 joint venture, have commenced work on a 16-lane, 10.5 km road network in Gagaon. This stretch from NH8 Toll Plaza to Sector 55-56 in Gagaon with six underpasses, one flyover and freeways will substantially improve traffic management in the city. To create this infrastructure facility, DLF has engaged Parsons Brinkerhoff for project management consultancy and construction work has been awarded to IL and FS. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. 